Good morning, everyone. Good morning. It's, there we go. <laughs> Someone from all the way back. Not back. We heard them loud in everyone else. Let's say it again. Good morning. Good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Yes. Amen. He is the Ancient of Days. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. And we're going to worship the King. We're going to worship our Lord. We're going to worship our Savior in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So let's give Hallelujah. the Lord a hand of praise. Amen. 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 Bless the Lord. Bless Hallelujah. the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We glorify you, Lord. We, we worship you, Jesus. We bless you, Lord. Hallelujah. We honor you. We honor you.
seem to be no other way. You know your testimony. You know that time when they told you no, but God turned around the answer and made it a yes. Hallelujah. You know that time where you were not feeling well in your body and God caused healing to come into your body and for you to be healed. Amen. He is a way maker. Amen. We're going to worship the Lord. We're going to concentrate on him. Hallelujah. Because you are our way maker.
other parts of the service that we're going to go to right now. But there's a song that we need to sing one or two times. Yes. And then we go on. It goes like this. Holy, holy, holy.
Prince of Peace. Healing agent to all that are living. Healing agent to all that are dying. We come before you right now, dear Lord. Because there's a need beyond our control. There's an issue beyond our reach. There's a conflict, dear Lord, that we can't deal with. Father, there's somebody that's facing a sickness that doctors cannot explain. There's a pain beyond comprehension that's causing someone to twist and turn or stay locked, paralyzed in one position. But God, we come to you today believing that you are a God that can make things whole, that can make somebody well. We come to you, dear Lord, who can make every confusing past straight. Oh, hallelujah. Father, we come to you not of ourselves, not in our power, but in the power of your existence, in the power of your eternity, in the power of the Holy Ghost. We're asking you right now, put your hand on the pain. Put your hand on the injury. Mark the cells, Lord. Mark the neurons in the body. The sensory that brings forth healing. Holy Ghost of God. The dopamine factor. In the name of Jesus. Get into the business of the body. Get into the business of the mind. Get into the operation of the situation. And make things straight. Somebody's looking for a miracle today. A miracle that goes beyond the natural. A miracle that goes beyond human engineering. Father, touch relationships. Somebody's in a financial crunch. Somebody's in a financial battle. Somebody's funds and resources is held up. Tied up systematically. Father, they need a release. Release it in the name of Jesus. Release it to the people. Release it to your people. Release it to your children. Holy Ghost. Somebody's under spiritual attack, Lord. Darkness is covering their spirit. Darkness is covering their mind. Father, as a serpent, as a boat constrictor is constricting, here they are looped up and enveloped under the plan of satanic attack. But we bind the forces of darkness in the name of the Father. We bind the forces of darkness in the name of the Son. We bind the forces of darkness in the name of the Holy Spirit. And we say liberty is in the now. We say security is in the now. We're saying sobriety is in the now. In Jesus' name. Remind your people they're not their own. They're not their own. Hallelujah. That it's going to be all right. That is just the way he planned it. That's going to be okay. Hallelujah. My sister, it's going to be all right. It's just the way God planned it. Oh, you're going to, you're, look at me, you're going to be okay. God's saying, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on to God's unchanging hands. Set your eyes on things eternal. God will do it again. My sister, God will do it again. You ask the question, will he do it? God is saying he will do it again. We cover your children. We cover your husband. We cover your resources. We cover your body. We cover your mind. We cover your spirit in the name of Jesus. The Lord is your son and shield. He will give grace and glory. And no good thing will he uphold from them that walk up right now. Uh, no good thing will he uphold from them that walk uprightly. Cast your cares on him because he cares for you. Make a shot on minister to her Lord. 
minister to her, Lord. Minister to her, Lord. As only you can. Father, we come before you because your people are giving to you out of joy. It's a time of celebration, Lord, because you have provided for your people. You made a way where there was no way. Father, we give you praise and we give you glory. Glory and honor and power based on the faithfulness of the people, but even more the faithfulness of you. Open up the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing because we know you're that kind of God to people who have that kind of faith. We look to you, we say thanks for all that you want to do. Thank you for the financial blessings. Give the leadership the wisdom to deal with the stewardship accurately, precisely, in the spirit and in the vein that the ministry needs. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Oh, we make a miracle work a promise keep light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. We make a miracle work. Thank you. 
God bless you. Can we give a priest in your hand? Praise the Lord. Not only are we worshiping, but we are also celebrating. We have some soccer champions in the house today. Kendra and Kenrick. Come, come, come quickly. Come quickly to the front. You know, it's a time of Olympics and celebrations. Well, we have our own Olympians. And they're not waiting to be on the podium to present medals. They are wearing their medals. He, look, show, show off your medals. Look at our... Can we stand to our feet and celebrate the undisputed champions? Congratulations. That's what champions look like. Anyway, you can go to see. And while you're standing, I want to show you a real champion. A champion that a couple of years ago, a big truck came and ran him over. And he's still here today. And he celebrated his 81st birthday yesterday. We're talking about no other. But the elder in the gate, Marvin Huggins. Look at this. Look at this wonderful man. 81 years of living. Come on, you can do better than that. We give God thanks for this man. You hear him saying hallelujah, giving God praise? Hallelujah. We celebrate you. We celebrate you. We celebrate you, sir. God is good. God is good. We also have here from the Gordon family, Pastor Gordon's baby brother and his wife. Can you stand? Let us see. Come all the way from Toronto. Amen. We give God thanks. It's great to see you all. Amen. There's, there's such a distinction when you're named Gordon. You, you, it just, just can't hide. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. And while we are in the midst of celebrating, how can I forget a wondrous milestone that the co-pastor of Brampton Triumphant reached and God would allow me to come and see that day come to pass in the island of the Dominican Republic to know that my childhood friend reached the pinnacle looking up on the fifth floor in a year of jubilee do you mind standing one more time to celebrate prime time Michelle Carter, 50. Woo. 50 looks like the new 20, eh? 50 years old. Oh, we're still alive? Oh, it's <laughs> Eddie. Oh. My gosh. Sis, I can never leave you behind. You have to come up higher. I knew her when she was 11. I met her when she was 11. 11 years old. Long time. Look what the Lord has done. A, an army celebrated with her. Over 25 people. 29 people, almost 30 people came to the Dominican Republic. With one phrase to say thank you. Because she does not just live, she breathes life. She's a fountain of life. A stream that finds her way through some cracks to let them know that God is real. And I 
thank you, Pastor Michelle Gardner, for being the woman you are and helping BTC move the needle. It's the preacher's time, which means it's God's time in the preacher. And this preacher has been blessed to see great things. It's one of the founding fathers of the Trafford Church of God here in Canada. And the only post he ever had was an evangelist. And that's because his teaching ministry was too strong that he had to stay in the house. He's seen generations of leaders, and some of the generations in which he held hands with have passed away. But he has been here as Caleb to see the next generation go forward. And Pastor Michelle and I were talking about him yesterday, and we're saying that this man gets better and better at his craft because the grace of God rests on him. Amen. Stand to your feet one more time. Lord, I present the speaker in your hands. Your manservant, vessel of honor. Touch him, inspire him, release him to do your will. In Jesus' name, please welcome the ministry, the proclamation ministry of Reverend Dr. E. children to the Dominican Republic and bring them back safe. Give God a big hand. Hallelujah. You know so many times you hear news of tragedy. <laughs> but God, hey, who is rich in mercy and his grace towards us. He brought them over a thousand miles away, way in southern part of, oh, I would say the island. It's in the northwest, northeast rather, of Jamaica, the Dominican Republic. To God be the glory, great things. Amen. I want to thank God. For you, Pastor. And my, I better say, my, you know, my daughter, because I get chastised many times. <laughs> yes, my big daughter, she turned 50. Wow! Wow, awesome! She looked like 35, 40. Oh, isn't that lovely? Blessings of the Lord make it rich. I'm no sorry to it. I want to thank God for my my wife. For almost 50 years, 
this year will be 50 of being together. Oh yes. Whoa, this is this is a long time. Yes. And my daughter, my biological, only biological daughter, Pastor Denise. Isn't she doing a wonderful job? Whoa, whoa. Give God some praise for her. It is of the Lord mercy and his goodness. Amen. I want to thank God for my brother Paul Delroy Gordon and his wife, beautiful wife, that come to Grace 28 West Wing Triumphant Church of God. Brampton Triumphant Church of God. I want you to give them a big hand. Bless you. Bless you, my brother. God is good. Nothing can be done before the time. Amen. 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 All the ministers in their places, elder, evangelists, ministers, one and all. Oh, but you know what? Oh, my God. Brother Cleve. And where, where's your wife? Oh, she's outside. Wow, wow. Please forgive me. They were in DR2. They were in Dominican Republic. They came back maybe a day earlier, right? That, yes. Oh, please forgive me. Welcome back. Bless you all. Bless you all. Amen. Wow. Their anniversary, one year married anniversary. Give God some praise. And then two. Please. Pastor Neil. Yeah. Pastor when you were, okay, you didn't mention anything about your... I was all about her 20, was it 23? 23 year anniversary. And Pastor Michelle. This little, this little man that I, I, I gotta, you know, say, so I don't get, I don't say, I won't say boy right now. But he was a little boy. Little, tiny little boy when he came here. Oh, he was just, oh, he was full of energy. Now he's celebrating 23 years of marriage. Wow, wow, God is good. I'm part of the mission. God is good. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Brother Marvin, you are, uh, you have nine lives, so to speak, because for what you've been through, I see people go through less than that and they are not here. But God have a purpose for you. Yes. Amen? Amen? Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Amen. All right. Let's get on with what the Lord laid on my heart. You know, brothers and sisters, I had I feel strongly that inclination in my spirit that I had a, a word from I get the the directive from Pastor O'Neill. And I tell you, any preacher in the house who ever had wrestling with a word, well, if you never, well, you're not experienced yet. You got. I, <laughs> I had wrestling with this word. But, you know, but I realize God have a reason to shift, to shift this word for another time. Amen. Because according, according to Isaiah 50, verse 4 says, For the Lord God has given me 
the tongue of the learned. So I will be able to speak a word in season yes. to him that is weary. Right. Morning by morning, he wakeneth my hear to hear as they learned. So God is a, a wise God. He's not the author of confusion. And God knows that the audience sometimes may not be ready for the, the, a type of word until God shifts it for another time. Because I thought I got this word and it was, it was taking me into a realm. I said, whoa, whoa. It was taking me into the Shemayim of God divine glory. And then I said, my God, help me that I will be able. And I sit, I, I spend hours in my office trying to go over it, Pastor O'Neill. And then God shift it to what he want me to say today. Amen? Amen. 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 Because I realize that sometimes because of my understanding of theology, sometimes we tend to talk over our minister, over people who are still young. Lord mercy. They are still young in the faith. <laughs> and they are. So you got to be careful that you don't lose them or confuse them with the going and coming of theology. But in the fullness of time, <laughs> in the fullness of time, God will release as they grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Is that amen? amen? Is that amen? Bless the Lord. So, God, the Lord switched things and give me a, a basic word. And it's taken from the 23rd Psalms. The 23rd Psalms. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The Lord is my shepherd. That's power, dear. Come on. Power. <laughs> oh, Lord. I shall not want. What he does, he maketh me to lie down in greed pasture. He leadeth me Beside the still water. E, Lord, I'm talking about, I'm not, oh Lord, I'm talking about He maketh me to lie down in green pasture. He restoreth my soul. Glory to God. Yea, though I may walk through the valley of the shadow of death. What is my response when I am taken through the valley of the shadow of death? No wonder the song said, when I'm low in spirit, I cried, Lord, lift me up. Because I can I want to be higher with thee. For the Lord knows I can't live on mountain. So he picked the valley for me. Oh Lord, there are much to be learned. In the valley. Oh, 
When you are always on the mountain top, there is a spirit called arrogancy. Oh Lord, that seems to inundate and control your spirit. And you tend to act according how you feel. But when he takes you into the valley, Valley, yep. the valley experience, hey. he will restore yes. your soul. Yes. Now, when we talk about soul and mind, they are very similar, they intertwine together because your soul is your feeling. Oh Lord. Your action, your will, your emotion, your God, your thoughts. So the Bible tells us that the soul that sinneth shall die. But if God take you into a place of restoration, he will take you to that place where he can speak into your spirit. Give God some praise. So we are talking about the Lord is my shepherd. Now we see here where David was speaking in the possessive personal pronoun. That's what you, he didn't say the Lord is our shepherd. Oh God. He didn't say the Lord is your. Oh Lord. Hey Lord. Is anybody in here can say the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I don't need of anything because he is. <laughs> oh Lord. The Lord is my jewelry. Lord. Mm, he feed me. He heal me. He sustain me. He lift me up. When my heart is overwhelmed, I can say he leads me to the rock that is eyes and I. I hear the word of God says, and as Moses lifted up the serpent into the wilderness, even so must the son of man be lifted up. David so my topic is the song of the great shepherd. The song of the great shepherd. David was a complex person. Will you agree with me? He was. He was. But God had him in his purposeful design. David had problems like anybody else. And I won't even touch some of the things because of wisdom. Yes. <laughs> you know, if you don't know, you will know after yes. what David did. been through. Oh my God. The lifestyle that he engaged in. But God Lord of mercy. God of mercy. David had a problem with his son Absalom. Yes. David had a good friend named Ephraim. He was the chief counselor around David. But because of what happened, 
what David did in his past and what he allowed and what Absalom felt that he allowed it to happen. A of it fell. A, A of it fell. This is the Jewish name. He rebelled. He deceived David. He turned against him. Can you imagine the chief counselor in your army, a friend, turned against you? No, you understand why David penned some of the word of the Psalms. Oh Lord, oh Lord, whoa! Everything turned against David, and he aligned himself with Absalom. And my God, David was wrought. Is anybody in here who have that experience, your trusted ally, turn against you? Lord Jesus. Somebody whom you have trusted, Pastor Michelle, turn against you. Who do you look to? But the chief shepherd. David experienced as a shepherd. He had several brothers. They look like king. They walk like king. They talk like king. <laughs> they, Lord. But David was in the backside of the desert looking after sheep. Because sheep, I want to say, are the, one of the most ignorant animals. But God have a purpose for sheep. Not like goat. <laughs> goat will eat any type of trash. And David know that he, he was on training ground until the right time to, be, to come forth by God purposeful design. Is that amen? Amen. Glory to God. Psalms 22 and 24 are precious pieces of Hebrew poetry. In Psalms 22, we have a picture of the Lord Jesus Christ as the good shepherd. Glory to God. Uh, that psalm is a clear prophecy of the crucifixion of the Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to God. Mm. Uh, that he would be pictured as the king coming in power and glory. Whoa, Lord. But Psalm 24 shows a picture. And Psalms 22 shows another picture. Yes. Glory to God. But between those two psalms is sandwich. Psalms 23. Oh Lord. Psalms 22 is show you the heights and great depths of who this man is. Glory to God. Mm. He was the good shepherd in Psalms 22. In Psalms 24, he was the chief shepherd. Pictured as king coming in power and glory. But let me show you something here. Psalms 23 is one of the most known, best loved of all the passage in the Bible. Here is Jesus. Give God some praise. Oh yes. Here is Jesus pictured as the great shepherd. We have the good shepherd. 
We have the chief shepherd. Glory to God. Mm. But here we have in Psalms the great shepherd. The great shepherd. Romans 3 verse 23. Why he was the great shepherd. Romans 3 23 said all of sin and come short of the glory of God. Mm. Yes. Isaiah 53. Oh Lord. Verse 6. Are we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to their own way. But, oh, Jesus, we go back. I uh, call the Ephesians 2. But God has laid upon him the iniquity of us all. Oh, Lord Jesus. Mmm. We have turned everyone to our own way. See, brothers and sisters, in these six precious verses, we have allowed to listen mm, in her as God little children to this song. The Lord is my shepherd. Is he your shepherd? Today, is he your shepherd? Can I talk about this shepherd? Oh Lord, I have a shepherd, one I love so well. Oh, he has blessed me. Tongue can never tell. On the cross of Calvary, where he shed his blood and died. Oh Lord, oh my brothers and sisters, this moment is sitting at the right hand of majesty, making intercession for us. Now, I want to say today, is this not doom or gloom when your shepherd is on you? In your corner. We know that the Bible tells us that the devil is like a roaring lion. Oh Lord. Seeking who he may devour. But there is a song that I love. Rain. Jesus rain. Oh Lord. Who Lord. Ah, oh, help me up in here. King of Zion, Judah Lion, reign, Jesus, reign. Oh, for the Lion of Judah shall break every chain and give us a victory again and again. And this Lion of Judah, oh, he's standing in your corner. Yet yeah, though you may walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you shall fear no evil, for this lion of Judah, he will break your chain. Lord, help me. Help me. Oh, Lord. In those days, there is a place. Back in the Judean hillside, as I travel down, the trees are so lush and big. This is where the lion would hide himself for anybody who walking down. Oh Lord, oh no. So he did describe as the valley of the shadow of death. Those cover the lion. You ever watched wildlife and saw when the lion will sneak behind these bushes 
and watch this little gizel, Lord Jesus. We are like a little gizel, oh Lord. We can run, oh yeah, but we can't fight a lion. We can't fight a lion. So it is like the shadow of death. If the gizel had seen the lion, prevent you, brothers and sisters, it will not go down in that area. But the Lord, our shepherd, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord is our keeper. Oh Lord, the Lord is our shield on our right hand. Oh yes. Oh, can I holler a little bit? Hey, the sun shall not smite me. By day. Jesus. So yet yeah, though we walk through that valley yes. but in the valley he will preserve us. Yes. I see the shepherd oh as I read it in Psalms 27. The Lord. Oh God. The Lord. We are talking about the Lord. The Lord is my light. And my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord in the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked. Even my enemy. And my foe. Come around me to eat up. My flesh. Lord. Ah they stumble. And fall. Though an host should rise up against me, my heart shall not fear the war. Oh Lord, oh the war, oh Lord, should rise up against me. In this shall I be confident. One thing of I desire of the Lord, and that will I seek after. That I, that I will dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. To behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. One thing, Lord Jesus. One thing. One thing have I desire of the Lord and that will I seek after that I will dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the Lord Lord Jesus and to inquire in his temple in the time of trouble Lord Jesus Lord help me, help me, help me I feel God, eh? my help is coming. Now. Lord, eh? in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle, shall he hide me. Oh, now shall my head be lifted up. Run about me. Oh, Lord. Oh Lord, my head lifted up round about me. Jesus. And my heart shall I say, I shall offer up sacrifices of joy. Oh Lord God. Oh, when my mother, Lord Jesus, and my father forsake me, the Lord, oh Lord, we're talking about the Lord. Oh, do you want to call it the Lord? You want to talk about the Lord. Lord. Oh Lord. The Lord who stretch. Who did not have to stand up on a step ladder. And he paid the sky in blue. Oh Lord. This Lord 
who rescue a dying star. Oh Lord, the Lord who rescue us, snatch us as a brand from the burning. Oh Lord, oh, no wonder somebody said, stand up. Stand up for Jesus. His soldiers at the cross lift high the royal banner. We must not suffer long from victory unto victory. His army shall he lead till every foe is vanquished and Christ the Lord in thee. Indeed, I see John, glory to God. John 6, 35 said, Jesus said, I am, I am the bread of life. Can I talk about who the shepherd we are talking about? It's more than just, David penned the word about the shepherd, but we are talking about the great shepherd. Yes, oh Lord. I, and he said, I am the bread of life. If any man eateth of me, he shall not hunger. Oh, glory to God. Give God some praise. praise uh, and he said, whoever cometh to me will never thirst. He shall never thirst. Give him some praise. praise the Lord. Do you love the Lord? Do you love this Lord? Oh, we, oh God, we are talking about the Lord. The Lord who is King of Glory. The Lord. Oh, his wondrous story. At his feet, I humbly bow. Oh, we crown him. Crown him. Crown him. Lord of Lord. Those who out in virtual land, I'm talking to you. Do you know the Lord today? Have you been wandering uh, in the parched land of mediocrity and don't know where you're going? I want to let you know that the Lord that we are talking about here at 28 West Wing is the King, he is the Lord, he is the master of every situation. You need to see him as your deliverer. Give God some praise. Give God some praise. David called him <laughs> the Lord. Some call him God. Some people call him friend. Oh yeah. Some people call him father. Father. Oh, I stretch. Oh, yeah. Oh, Lord. Father, I stretch my hands to thee. Hey, Lord. Oh, no other help. I know if you should draw yourself from me, where shall I go? Oh, that is who David is talking about. This great God has placed his name in all over the Psalms. Notice how we how he had written his name. In the bold, bold letter across uh, the very fabric of the Psalms. Jehovah Roy, the Lord my shepherd. Jehovah Jireh, the Lord provide. The Lord uh, my peace. Now the Lord will provide. Jehovah Shalom, the Lord my peace. Jehovah Rafi. The Lord who healed thee. How are you going through some situation in your life? And it seems that 
there's no hand but Jehovah Rafi. Jehovah Rafi is the one who healed thee. Give God some praise. Give God some praise. Ah, we got again Jehovah tisking you. The Lord, my righteousness. The Bible tells us, accept your righteousness. Exceed that of the scribe and the Pharisee. You shall not. Because all of our righteousness is like filthy rags before God. But I'm so glad. I'm so glad he comes that my righteousness can be connected to his righteousness. Because he is the righteous judge that shall give me, oh yes, according to the work that I have done. Give God some praise. Give God some praise. Oh, we got him here as the Jovia Shama. The Lord is there. Glory to God. You see it in Ezekiel 48, 35. Oh, they were experiencing some trouble. As usual, it is, uh, Israel experienced trouble. But they realized that the Lord, we're talking about the Lord. The Lord. The Lord. the Lord, not our Lord, the Lord, the quintessential Lord of all, the Lord, King of glory, glory to God. Mm, yes, and we got him down here as Jovian Nisi, the Lord, our banner. Mm, when Moses and Israel was experiencing the fighting with the Amalekites. Oh, and it seems as if they was going to lose the battle. Glory to God. But the Lord, the Lord come and stand uh, in their midst. Oh, yes. And that way he caused all the trouble to dissipate because he stands as the Lord of battle. Lift high. Come on, brothers and sisters, lift high his royal banner. It must not suffer loss from victory unto victory. Oh, his army shall he lead till every foe is vanquished. And Christ, oh Lord, indeed. Jovia Makadesh. The Lord that sanctified thee. Oh Lord, sanctify me. Sanctify me through thy word, Lord. Because thy word is truth. Yes. Oh yes, thy word is truth. Psalms 49. Psalms 119 verse 49. According to the promise of thy word. Upon which thou hast caused me to hold, Lord Jesus. Therefore, even in my affliction, thy word quicken me. Oh, yes, Psalm 119, verse 11. Oh, yes, thy word is a lamp. No, thy word have I hid in my heart that I may not sin against thee. Psalm 119, verse 30. Yes, thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light, and a light unto my path. Yep. Brothers and sisters, we are living in a dark time yes. when we need the lamp and the light. We need the lamp so we will not stumble over the obstacles of life. Yes, the obstacles of life will bombard our spirit. Oh, yes, but with a conquering tread, we will push ahead and roll the sea away. Oh, yes, glory to God. We roll the sea of discouragement. Yes, yes. Uh, we roll the sea of suffering away. Yes, Romans 8 verse 18 says, For the suffering of this present time 
is not worthy to be compared with the glory that shall be revealed in us. For the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the Son of God. So therefore, brothers and sisters, we don't have to worry anymore because this shepherd, this shepherd is in our corner. This shepherd is in our corner and we can stand upon this promises that cannot fail even when the howling storm of doubt and fear assail us. Psalms 23 has charm more grief to rest than the philosophy of the world. It has reminded uh, their dungeon more felon thoughts, more black doubts, more thieving sorrows, glory to God, than there are sands of the seashore. It has comforted the noble host of the poor. It has sung courage to the army of the dis disappointed. It has poured balm and uh, consolation into the hearts of the sick, of the, of the captive, in their loneliness. Lord, oh Lord, in their loneliness, Psalms 23 read to them, uh, the dying soldiers have died easier as it was read to them. The ghastly hospital have been illuminated. Oh, glory to God. Mm, as uh, visiting the prisoner and the broken chains. In his broken chains. And Peter's angel led him through. Oh, you remember when Peter, oh, glory, was locked up in prison. Glory to God. He was in the chain. But God. But they prayed to this. Uh, this. The shepherd. They pray To this shepherd. And they. Oh God. And, and this. The, the, the chain. Was broken. The chain was broken obviously. And he came out. In victory. In victory. Because the Lord, the Lord, the shepherd, the Lord, my shepherd, is he your shepherd today? Is he your shepherd? Glory to God. Glory to God. Oh, yes, is the good shepherd. Glory to God. It has made the dying Christian slave freer. Than his master. The dying Christian slave. Freer. Than his master. And console. Those whom dying. He left behind. Mourning. Not too much. That was gone. Not so much that it was gone. But because. They were left behind. Sometimes. Sometimes. Sometimes we grieved. We grieve because of what's happening in our lives. But we have a shepherd. We have a shepherd. Is Jehovah Elon. Oh Lord. El Jehovah Elion. The Lord Mosai. Glory to God. Give God some praise. Give God some praise. Of all the many names of the Lord. That David could have magnified. He was led to, to the, by the Spirit to sing about Jehovah Roy, the Lord, my shepherd. Why? Because the image of a shepherd carrying a sheep on his shoulder. Oh Lord, and he anoint him with the oil. He said, Oh, I can't leave you behind. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, in the book of Matthew, he said, He, he left the 99 
in a safe zone. And he go and receive the one. Lord, are you that one today? Oh God, are you that one? When we were so lost and undone without God, our son, he reached down and he carried us into a place of safety. Give God some praise. Give God some praise. He carried us to a place of safety. He experienced a personal relationship. When the Psalms begin, David is writing the first person. It seems though he's talking to us about the shepherd. In doing so, he uses, as I said before, the possessive personal pronoun in talking about the Lord. He said, my. To talk about his relationship. Yes, he talk about the Lord. Glory to God. Mm. Oh, give God some praise. praise give God some praise. praise the, Lord. the Lord, our rock, in, in him we hide a shelter in the time of storm. When we talk about his relationship with the shepherd, Jesus, there are many ships that sail in the sea of life. Friendship, partnership, companionship, relationship, hardship. Oh Lord Jesus, when the storm of life, oh Lord, come to set us, oh Lord, adrift. Remember, there is only one ship. Oh Lord, oh Lord, your ship, oh Lord, that you can anchor your soul in. Oh yes, I have anchored my soul in the heaven of rest. And I sail the white seas no more. Oh glory to God. Mm. You have anchored your soul in the heavens. But you sail the white seas no more. This seas of relationship. Because you have a relationship. You have a partnership. Oh Lord Jesus. With this master. Yes. So when hardship comes your way. Last week I was saying to the last week Sunday afternoon I was saying Jesus said come unto me all ye that labor and are heavy laden and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon thee and learn of me for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Now, brothers and sisters, it's not so much about the burden, Lord Jesus, but it's how you carry it. Yes, come on. It's how you carry your burden. Do you want to put it on a barrel? Or you want to lay it on your head? Lord Jesus. Oh, a bow will carry it to the cross, to Jesus. Because there are many burdens. But it's Lord Jesus. But how you, so it is how you carry your burden. There's a lot of people are carrying burdens. Oh Lord. Carry burdens. But cast your care. Upon the Lord. Take it to the Lord, oh, take it to the Lord in prayer. In prayer. Oh Lord. Don't carry it on your shoulder. And then you're going to have a crooked neck. Don't carry it on your neck. Then your neck going to be frozen. 
oh Lord, and you can't turn. But oh, carry it on a wheelbarrow yes. to the Lord. To for Lord. he is able yes. to do more exceeding abundantly above all that we can think or ask. Give God some praise. Give God some praise. Give God some praise in the house. Glory to God. So, brothers and sisters, stop carrying unnecessary burden. Lord Jesus, burden bearer, miracle worker, Prop Lord, promise keeper. That's what he is. He came and he died to carry our burden. He is not, he has never stopped working. He's still working right now. Are you that one who say, My shepherd? The Lord, my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pasture. Now, as we listen to this, I'm going to read an article. Let's get back to church. Now that you know that Jesus is everything. Yes. In my clothes. Oh Lord. Make a right turn and believe Boulevard. Hey, come on. Keep straight yes. and go through the green light. Which is Jesus Christ. From there you must turn onto the bridge of faith. Which is over troubled water. Give God some praise. When you get off the bridge, make right. Turn. Make a right turn. Keep straight. Don't no left turn. Lord help me up in here. Keep straight. Oh, uh, you now reach the king's highway. And you are heaven bound. Go three miles. Lord. The first mile called the father. The second mile called the son. The third mile called the Holy Ghost. Then exit. And grace Boulevard. From there. Make a right. Turn on to gospel lane. Oh Lord. Uh, no one in David said. Thy word have I hid. In my heart. That I will not sing. That's gospel lane. Keep straight. And then make another right. On prayer boulevard. And keep straight. Lord keep straight. Hey. Hey. Keep straight. As you go on your way. Pay no attention to the traffic and temptation boulevard or temptation avenue. Also avoid, avoid at all costs Sin Street because it is a dead end. Lord Jesus, pass Envy Drive and have street. Glory to God. Do not enter Hypocrite Road. Glory to God. Gossiping Lane. Hey. Back biting Boulevard. Avoid them at all costs. And keep straight. But you have to go down long suffering lane. Lord Jesus. Oh, you have to go down long suffering lane. Persecution. Boulevard, Trials Road, and Tribulation Avenue. But it's all right. It's all right. Oh, yeah. It's all right. Glory to God. Because Victory Boulevard is straight ahead. Give God some praise. Give God some praise. Give God some praise. Lord. Glory to God. My time is up. And I want to thank you. And I trust that you have received a word. 
Oh Lord. Oh, because he said you gotta go through land suffering. Yes, land suffering lane. Land suffering lane. Yes. <laughs> so many times we are going through some things, and you say, cry out and say, Lord, why me? Why me, Lord? What have I ever done to deserve even me? Lord, but Lord and me, Jesus. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Ah, uh, he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And by strife we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray. Lord, Lord, I got to say this before I give over to Pastor Odin. When he says, he leads me beside the still water. This just dropped back in my spirit here. You see, sheep are top heavy and they're afraid of water. Their spiny leg and their wood. If they get to water, they will drown. But for them to drink, what the shepherd does, he will even dam up a stream that is still and does not keep running because sheep have a morbid fear of water. So they won't go in the water. Lord, oh, so he lived beside the still water. He restoreth my soul. Yea, though I may walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? The Lord is our keeper. Oh, he's a sword on the right hand. The Lord. The Lord who stand, oh Lord, in your place. And when the enemy come upon you like a flood, the Spirit of God lift up a standard against him. The Lord. Oh, wonder story. The Lord, King of Lord. God bless you, man of God. Bless you. Oh Lord. Bless you. Hallelujah. Stand to your feet, everybody. Set your hands towards this vessel of honor. Heavenly Father. We thank you for this under shepherd. Mm. The elder statesman. We thank you, dear Lord, for his vast wisdom and knowledge and understanding. Mm. We thank you, dear Lord, that as bright as he is and as technologically, oh God, and theologically sound in your word, he can break it down to feed the flock. Thank you, we pray, dear Lord, that the source will remain the source in his life. Yes, At this stage of his life, dear Lord, let him be full of sap. Yes, let him be flourishing, oh dear Lord. Yes, let revelation come to him at the noonday sun. Yes, we ask of you, dear Lord, because we know what you can do in him. Yes, and we know the blessing that he is in us. Yes, Renew his strength like an eagle. Renew him like a lion, a young lion, dear Lord. Have him leap over walls like a gazelle in the spiritual realm. Amen. That he will continue to feed the sheep in whatever pasture you bring his way. In Jesus' name we pray and we believe. Amen. Clap your hands for Jesus. Thank you.